Good morning. Welcome to Currents Chem World. In this video, let us study Jobs method. This is also called Continuous Variation method. It is one of the important spectrophotometric method to determine the stoichiometry of the coordination complexes formed. Okay, there are three methods, optical methods, spectrophotometric methods for the determination of composition of uh, coordination metal complexes. They are one continuous variation method. This is called Jobs method. In this method, a series of solutions are prepared by varying the concentrations of both the metal and ligand and the absorbance of each solution is measured and in this the total concentrations of two reactants metal and ligand remains constant okay whereas in mole ratio method it is similar to this but one of the concentration is fixed while the other is varied for example in this case metal concentration can be fixed okay for example one mole and let us vary the ligand concentration and measure the absorbance okay so this method is based on the measurement of absorbance of series of solutions in which the concentration of metal is fixed and the ligand is varied whereas in slope ratio method the ligand is taken in large excess that's it that's all okay so it is mainly used for weak complexes they are unstable so we need to add excess of ligand to form the complex okay okay let us now dis discuss the principle and the procedure of continuous variation method the principle of the method is that the mole ratio of the metal ion and ligand is varied between 0 and 10 millimolar or millimolar etc. Any concentration you choose. We will see in table how the solutions, series of solutions, serial, series of solutions are prepared at constant total concentration. C equal to total concentration. Cm is the concentration of the metal ion, Cl is the concentration of the ligand. Okay. Now, the absorbance of various solutions prepared or measured, then the absorbance is plotted against the mole fraction of the ligand of the complex. Xl is the mole fraction, X represents mole fraction of the ligand. Then the absorbance is measured at a specific wavelength where only the complex is absorbed. Okay, So we, we need to be very careful. We measure the absorbance at a complex where at a um, wavelength where complex absorbs. And then n is obtained from this plot. From this plot n value is obtained. What is n value? For example, tetramonium complex, okay, in this case n equal to 4. So, the number of ligands bound to one metal ion can be calculated from the absorption maximum of the curve. X max, this is the absorption maximum, okay. That is n equal to X max, okay, this is the mole fraction of the ligand at which absorption maximum is obtained divided by 1 minus x max. We will see in the table and examples uh, so that you can clearly understand. Okay, table shows how the solutions are prepared in different mole ratios. Okay, for example, in this, uh, in this jobs method, the concentration of ligand is varied as well as concentration of metal okay and the total concentration 10 plus 0 10 9 plus 1 10 and 2 plus 8 10 the sum of two concentration is constant always
base okay in this method the concentrations of both ligon and metal are varied in other methods in mole ratio method we can keep this constant for example con concentration of metal ion maybe you can keep it 5 okay let us vary this only and we can measure the absorbance and plot it to obtain the stoichiometry of the complex okay let us uh, see the plot of absorbance measured versus mole fraction of ligand okay in mole fraction of ligand versus absorbance okay as you increase the ligand concentration as you increase the ligand concentration the absorbance increases because of the complex formation okay at this the complex is formed in this uh, concentration the complex is formed and then it decreases okay so how the stoichiometry of the complex is obtained let us see here okay at uh, see here 0 0.5 this is the mole fraction of ligand at which there is absorption maximum okay absorption maximum since we know the total mole fraction is equal to 1 hence xl plus xm mole fraction of ligand plus mole fraction of metal ion equal to 1 therefore 0 0.5 plus xm equal to 1 mole fraction of metal ion equal to 0 0.5 Therefore, n equal to xl divided by xm or xl minus 1 minus xl equal to 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 equal to 1. So, the complex formed is 1 is to 1 that is ml. Okay, let us see the case 2 in the plot of absorbance measured versus mole fraction of ligand. You see here there is absorption maximum at the xl at mole fraction of ligand equal to 0 0.66 now from this plot how do you obtain the stoichiometry of the complex metal ligand ratio okay at the xl equal to 0 0.66 there is absorption maximum since the total mole fraction equal to 1 and we can calculate xm mole fraction of metal ion okay let us substitute here and n equal to 2 therefore the complex formed is 1 is to 2 that is ml2 let us see another case where the plot of absorbance versus mole fraction of ligand okay in this case in this case there is absorption maximum at mole fraction of ligand 0 0.75 similarly mole fraction of metal ion equal to 0 0.25 okay and then n equal to 3 so the complex formed is 1 is to 3 this is the ml3 is the stoichiometry of the complex thank you for watching please share and subscribe thank you again